Hello. Today I will be talking about movie review number 488. And this movie is called Madagascar 2 Escape to Africa. Madagascar 2 Escape to Africa is a 2008 movie directed by Tom McGrath and Eric Darnell, who also directed the first movie. Madagascar 2 Escape to Africa. It's a 2008 film that I saw on June 11th, 2022 at City Based Cinemas, Canada, in Canada, Ohio. And this was a great movie. So this takes place at the events of the first film, where Alex, Marty, Melman, and Gloria get shipwrecked to Madagascar and trying to adjust to Iron Wife. Well, that doesn't exactly go so well. They're New York, they're New Yorkers, they want to get home. So, with the help of the Penguins, they have an airplane that can take them back to New York City. Well, there's a little bit of a problem. The airplane uh, doesn't exactly work during mid-fright, and the plane comes crashing down to Africa. And so the two animals must must wait until the penguins can be able to fit the airplane, but while doing the wait, the, the four two animals discover that there are many, many animals, animals of those species living in Africa. There are lions, zebras, hippos, giraffes, all kinds of animals, animals. And let's just say that Alice, the lion, discovers that this was a place that he had been before. I won't say how, but let's just say that there's a little bit of a reunion with Alex and, and a few other lions. And this is a really great movie. So, like I said, the movie Many Dads Are to Escape to Africa explores Alice's past and then to the present day. And that's why Alice is thinking that he may have been here before. And his instincts proved to be right. I won't say how they were right, but I will say that he soon discovers where he came from. And Morty, Melman, and Gloria also discover secret and mysterious things with their species. And like I said, the two animals have to figure out how to stay in Africa long enough for the penguins to fish the airplane. But there's a little bit of trouble on the wise as certain humans, including the granny, are wanting to hunt the animals. Once the animals kind of get into their territory. I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's a pretty good movie. And it's the same Grammy for me that's the one who kids Alice's butt. <laughs> She's back in the second one. And another problem arises when the water is running low in the African land. And the animals are trying to figure out what to do, how to get this water back. Well, let's, let's just say that Julian has an idea, even though it might be an insane idea, but will it work? But yeah, this is a great family movie that's filled with fun, laughter, and it definitely continues the story that was left off of Madagascar 1. I really enjoyed this movie. I think I enjoyed this better than the first one just because there were more characters in it. 
and I like how the the two animals got to interact with their own species. And it was amazing to see that. I want to dedicate this video to Bony Mac, who played one of the lions in the film. He actually plays a character named Super. Unfortunately, I believe this was Bony Mac's final film war, or one of Bony Mac's final film wars. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2008. And this was, and this was dedicated to Bunny Matt during the end credits. Bunny Matt played a great job at voicing Alice, I mean, voicing Suba in this movie. And there were actors and actresses in this movie, like Ben Still, who played Alice the Lion, came back. Chris Rock played Marty the Zebra. David Schwimmer played Melman the Giraffe, Jada Pinkett Smith played Gloria the Hippo, and many other actors and actresses in it, like Cherry Shepard, Alec Baldwin, and Will I Am. And then we have Sasha Baron Cohen, Cedric the Entertainer, Andy Witcher, and many other actors and actresses in it. It's a really good movie, guys. You guys gotta check this out. So that's my movie review of May. That's called Two Estate to Africa. Please stay tuned for this movie review. Alright, goodbye.